All right, it's almost the end of 2023, and I did want to make a video to kind of share with you all how much money I've made doing content creation as my side hustle, just so that if anyone else wants to try to do this in the future, they could maybe see what it's like. Maybe you can go full time doing this, maybe you can't. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of break down into where are the main revenue sources I make. Let's just go ahead and do a little pie chart here. There's like four main areas where I'm getting revenue from my channel. The first one is courses. Okay, I, uh, right now I only have one course on Gumroad that makes some money. The second area that's making money is AdSense. So that's money that directly comes from YouTube. When YouTube shows you ads, I get a cut of that revenue. I also have sponsorships. Okay, so these are companies that reach out to me and say, hey, do you want to make a video about X, Y, and Z? And then I'll go ahead and make that video, etc. And then finally, we have my products, like my icon generator, my SaaS products, or whatever else I'm trying to market or sell on my channel. So these are the main sources of income, and I'm going to go ahead and just get the breakdown by looking at my dashboards, and we're going to go ahead and look at how much money I've made over this year. And uh, next year, I'm going to get screwed over with taxes, so that's going to be fun. So first thing, let's look at Gumroad. Um, I made one course this year, which has made a total revenue of $9,000 since I published it. This was a really fun experience. This is the first course I made. I think a lot of people enjoyed watching this. Um, I didn't really push hard marketing this. Um, and right now, I think this course is kind of going out of date because uh, Next.js 14 is already out. This tutorial is the T3 stack with Next 13. So, I mean, I could still try to market this and get some money from it. Um, and I do think it is good content. I did kind of teach a lot of good things. But overall, I didn't really market this as hard as I probably could have other than having description links in my video. So courses, I'll put $9,000 here. So let's look at AdSense. I went to the drop down for 2023. This is my estimated total revenue from my YouTube video AdSense alone. Okay, so let's just go ahead and copy this number. This is an estimate. Um, what actually comes to me, I don't think is truly this because they do withhold some stuff for taxes, I believe. And then at the end of the year, they're going to send me my... um what is it called, like a W-9 or whatever. And I'll have to report those, those earnings as a miscellaneous income. But let's just go ahead and say AdSense, about 15,000. But overall, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not too impressed with the AdSense revenue. You might be like, well, that's a lot of money. But I published so many videos this year. Like, I'm sure I published over like 100 and some videos. Um, it's, it's really a grind. It's really a grind to make money off of AdSense. Which leads me to my other bracket, which I'll talk about, is my SaaS products that I try to market as well. So I really only had one SaaS product that's been successful this year, um, which has been this icon generator, which I don't even know how this is making money because you can literally go to Dolly and like try to generate icons yourself. But people are buying credits and I'm making money off of that. So let's go to how much the breakdown is for my icon generator AI site. So here's the gross volume for 2023. That's how much gets sent into Stripe. And then Stripe takes a cut of that. And so I'm left over with 7,812. Now I basically have to take that amount and for every month I owe OpenAI like 300 to $400. So if I do 320 divided by 12, that's like an estimate. I can give you the real breakdown if I wanted to, but I'm just too lazy. So basically half of that is going to be my earnings. Okay, so take that divided by two and you'll get about 3,000 some. So that's how much I've made from um, my SaaS product. So if I go back to my diagram here, I'll say like 3,500 is in my profits, okay? Again, this is profit, this is profit, this is profit. Revenue for my SaaS product was like double this, but there is operational costs to running this. And then finally, we have sponsorships. So sponsorships are videos where companies reach out to me and say, hey, can you make a video and kind of showcase X, Y, and Z? They'll go ahead and pay me some money. I make a video, I, I demo that, I showcase that. And honestly, that is where a majority of my income comes from. All right, so for my sponsor videos, I basically go into Stripe, I make an invoice, I send it to my clients, and then I make the video for them and I publish it and they'll pay me after everything is done. Uh, the way I work with my sponsorships is I ask for 70% of money up front, and then after I publish the video, I ask for the remainder 30%. I wanna make sure I get paid for the work I'm about to invest in making a video, and then afterwards, I wanna make sure they pay me as well. If they don't pay me within like two days after publishing the video, I go ahead and just take their video offline. I haven't had any issues yet. That process has worked pretty well for me. This is the gross volume, so $72,000 is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie about that, it's pretty good. And then after Stripe takes its cuts, I'm left with $68,000. So this is my profit from all of my sponsor video. Pretty good, not going to lie, for my first year of like getting my YouTube actually growing and making a decent amount of money. Overall, this is how much I've made on YouTube as a content creator. Again, I also work full-time as a software engineer, and I would say that I still can't go full-time YouTuber because... 
it just isn't enough money. This is just a little supplemental income for helping pay the mortgage, or electricity bill, gas, electric, etc. Um, I still have to have a full-time job with insurance to be able to support my family. So overall, I mean, this is a decent amount of money. You could go full-time YouTuber. Um, so I think it is possible. It's just not possible for me. So, right, so I went ahead and summed up all of those breakdowns, and this is the total. Total is this much. All right, so let's just go ahead and kind of fix this pie chart so it's a more accurate sense of like where I'm getting a majority of my income from. All right, that's a little bit more accurate. So again, sponsorships, that's where most of the money comes from. Again, you got these large corporations and companies who have a lot of marketing budget and they're trying to promote their products and their services, right? So that's where a majority of the money is going to come from is doing these sponsorships. So this is the total amount. So again, this is pre-tax. I live in the United States and you have to pay a federal income tax on everything you make. So from this $96,000 that I make, you have to go and figure out based on a, a tax chart, a tax bracket. Now, it's a little bit more complicated to use this tax, tax bracket. Um, basically, you have to look at your total income. You have to like basically take a percentage of what that is, and that's how much you're going to owe. And then there's like deductions as well that you can do. If you have a business, you can write, do tax write-offs. For example, I bought a new laptop this year. I can use a write-off for that. That saves me about $1,200 for this MacBook Air that I bought. But I'm going to go ahead and just take an estimate. We'll just say 24%. We'll just say 24%. Um, again, this is just an estimate way to do it. I mean, the way the tax bracket works is you basically have to like do like a rolling bracket and like subtract percentages. I don't know. It's complicated. So basically take that amount times it by 0.24. And that is how much you're going to owe in taxes. So this is an estimate. Again, I'm probably way off with this. But this is just like how much I probably have to pay the IRS based on my income just from my YouTube channel. Plus, I also have my tax return, which would help, you know, chunk this down. So I'll also do the inverse of this. So say one minus 0.24, and this is how much I would have left over. All right. And so overall, this is, um, if I did the breakdown correctly, this is basically how much profit I made from my content creation this year, $73,000, which I'm actually quite impressed seeing these numbers. After finally taking the time to look at these numbers, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Um, again, I will owe this much for taxes. So, so hopefully I added all that up correctly. And this is what you could potentially see when you start your own YouTube channel and you get to 175,000 subscribers and you make over, I don't know how many videos I have. I have over like 800, 900 videos. So I put a lot of work in this channel and finally I think it's paying off. Again, I didn't make this video to show off. I made this video just to kind of help other content creators or people who want to kind of understand how this stuff works. I just wanted to be transparent with you all and this is how much I made about this year alone. And I think it's been a really good and lucky year for my side hustle and I've put in a lot of work on this channel. So hopefully next year it also pays off as well and it just continues to grow. I think at some point if you just let the ball stop rolling, your channel can just slowly die off. So that's the one scary thing I have about YouTube is that um, all of your revenue is basically in the clutches of YouTube. So if they decide they want to shut your channel down or demonetize you, there goes all your income. And that is one main reason I stick to my full-time job because it pays more than what YouTube's paying me and I have that job security. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon, whatever, and also have a good day and happy coding.